Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about something that's always a hot topic and basically everyone deals with this and that is acne. Yes, acne is a fun thing to deal with. No, I've dealt with acne since I was about 12, I think, maybe a little bit before that. Um, and I just never really knew how to deal with it when I first started getting it. It was like, oh, okay, whatever, just squeeze it, get rid of it, blech. And I didn't realize how bad that was for my skin. And I also didn't realize that there's a lot of stuff out there to help you get rid of that. So today I'm going to talk about what I use, what your options are, and my different experiences, and my tips and tricks. So I have a list on my phone here. So if I keep looking down, I'm just checking my notes because I could go on and on about this. So getting started, we'll start with my tips. When you're washing your face and doing your nightly routine or your morning routine or whatever, if you're like me, you have your body routine and you have your face routine. So like for your body routine, you would do lotions, perfume, um, I do different things for my feet, uh, stuff like that, stuff that you don't want to put on your face in general do that stuff after your face for me i was doing my body lotion right when i got out of the shower and then washing my face well the oils in that body lotion aren't good for your face my face anyway so do that second and i can guarantee you you'll see a difference now grant i'm not a dermatologist and i don't know everything there is to know about skin but i've dealt with enough and done enough research on it myself to give you a little bit of insight so there's that so wash your face and do everything like that experimenting with things is important I've tried cleanser after cleanser after cleanser after cleanser I've tried extremely chemical I've tried extremely natural and I've tried stuff that's in between and I found that the natural way is um, definitely what I need for my skin and it's not super sensitive and I have makeup on right now but you guys can probably see like here I have some breakouts um, in some of my tutorials you can see that all this is broken out my chin breaks out sometimes up here and on my sides of my face but we'll get to that in a minute um, things that I know has helped me keep my skin clear when it is about this this is really good for my skin actually um, water tea and juice and I don't mean like sugary like high C and stuff I mean like the naked juices, the stuff that's just pure fruit and has those good things for you in it. Anyway, tea, I'm talking like natural tea with no sugars, no cream, no nothing like that. I mean, you can add it in there, but I drink raspberry hibiscus tea, um, just plain black tea, and I think that's about it. That's what I use when like my skin's really bad. Green tea is also really good for your skin. Um, and water... I try and drink as much water as I possibly can. I'm not really good at it, but the one day I drank like 6-12 ounces glass of water and my skin just felt better. Like instantly it felt better. So drink your water. Um, natural products that have worked for me are the um, Burt's Bees line, the Black Willow Bark line. All that stuff has helped me so, so much with my acne it clears it out and it smells good and it's not really rough now I know a lot of you are probably thinking like well what about proactive have you ever tried proactive I have tried proactive it worked for me for a little bit and then it didn't work so I stopped using it my skin got really really bad about a year ago so I figured I'd try proactive again and it actually burned my face I put the refining mask on and all of this around my lip turned bright orange and I could not figure out why and the skin was flaking off and it hurt. I could not cover it up with concealer or makeup or anything because it hurt that bad. And I found out Proactive has bleach in it. When I put the refining mask on, this all got bleach burns and part of my nose. So that's what ended up happening. So I don't use Proactive. If it works for you, that's great. But for me, nah. Um, one of my suggestions to you guys would be doing a mask once a week. If you're like me and you have kind of sensitive skin, it's really easy to do too much to your skin. I was doing a mask every day 
and I realized like my skin was just looking horrible and I couldn't figure out why I was over masking is what I'm going to call it and that means I was putting too much stuff on my face too much was happening my hormone balance and my chemicals in my face were like what are you doing and they're trying to balance each other out and everything so I just stopped using that stuff I use it once a week now and it's so so much better um, over exfoliating is also a big problem that I had. Um, you don't want to exfoliate too often or too roughly. I usually use like a wash rag like this when I wash my face. I'll take it and then I'll wash my cleanser off with the mask. So it's a really light exfoliation, but it still gets all those dead skin cells off. Now, there's different kinds of acne and we all know that. There's cystic acne, there's topical acne. I usually deal with topical acne, but all of this over here and I get ones deep down in here in my chin are cystic. So I found some things online that could possibly help you with where your acne is at. So if you have acne all over your face, like I did, um, it's called like constellation acne because it's like little groups all over your face. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wash your face twice daily. Now, I can't wash my face twice because it dries my skin out and you know, it kinda, it's not good for me, so I only wash once, but it's usually at night, and I'll at least take a makeup wipe to my face at night, or in the morning, I mean, to get off that oil. Dealing with all over acne, you're also going to want to use a toner and a moisturizer. Those are like two of the most important steps. Even if you have oily skin, I'm sure you've heard this before, you still need to moisturize. It's finding the right moisturizer that's going to be difficult. I know for me, I can't use the Neutrogena Natural stuff. It's too oily. My skin overproduces oil and it just makes me look like a, I have Crisco on my face. I like the Yes2 Tomatoes one. That's formulated for oily skin and it's not bad at all. And the Lush Vanishing Cream is what I'm using right now. And that stuff is money. It is key. It is so smooth and it is light and it is perfect. Even if you're going to put makeup over top, it feels great. Um, if you have acne scars from having all over acne, use coconut oil and just put a little bit on your face. I know it's kind of scary if you have oily skin, like, I don't want to put more oil on my face, but this oil will help heal it and it doesn't make you nasty. If you have deep and inflamed acne, so that's kind of that cystic stuff we were talking about, don't touch it. I know it's really easy to see on your face and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to like push it into my skin and I want to pick at it or I want to stop touching it. It's really, really easy for this stuff to get really red and really inflamed and you don't want to touch it and clog it up for more and make it worse. Also, be patient. I think this goes for all acne and all acne treatment, but be patient for it to go away. It's not going to go away in a day and not going to go away in a week. It usually takes a month for stuff to start working. So don't expect to use a face wash one time, not get cleared up and go, Ugh, it doesn't work. It will get worse before it gets better. Uh, dealing with the deep cystic stuff, use tea tree oil or uh, a spot treatment. I use spot treatments, but they're natural because uh, I just can't find tea tree oil. I guess I haven't really looked either, but that will soak into that skin and clear all that stuff up and make it go away before it can come to like its biggest pinnacle of bleh. If you have acne on your chin, which I get a lot, your hormones may be imbalanced. And that's usually because it's that time of the month and all your hormones in your body are going crazy anyway. So give it a little bit. I'm sure it'll go away. Um, also, reduce your stress. I know. Easier said than done. Trust me, I don't know why this tip was on yet, actually. I mean, I get it. Reduce your stress. Reduce your acne. But it's like, there's just some things you can't use. But I recommend the Neutrogena Stress Contr stress Acne Control Wash. That stuff works really well if you have all of this going on because of stress. Don't eat before bed for your chin. Because all that stuff you're putting in your body, you're going to bed and you're not really burning it off or sweating it out. So it's kind of just sitting in there and it's causing your skin to do its thing. I'm sick, so if I sound weird, I'm sorry. Um... Drink mint tea instead of eating before bed. Tea actually does fill you up. So that's why a lot of people are doing those fit tea cleanses and those detox cleanses. 
because tea will fill you and then you're not as hungry. So try that before bed. And also if you get them down here, I have a really, I had a really bad one right here. Just take a washcloth and put it with hot water. Well, not so hot that it like burns your skin, but warm so it opens up the pore and press it like that and use it as a warm compress on your skin. If you have acne along your cheeks, clean your phone. Think about it, if you're taking this phone and you're putting it to here every single day, all that oil, all that makeup is just sitting on your screen like this. And your hands touch your phone all the time. Like you're texting, you're doing whatever, you're on Twitter, you're on Instagram. Everything nasty is getting on your phone. And then you're putting it to your ear. Like after you eat like greasy food, you're touching your phone. You're putting it to your ear to talk. Clean your phone off with a disinfecting wipe and I'm sure your acne will go down. Change your pillowcases. I know it seems like kind of a thing that you don't think about, but if you're laying like this on the same surface every day, that bacteria, that those germs, everything, I mean, you should be washing your pillowcases. Anyway, that oil from your hair, it's getting on your pillowcase and it's gonna clog these pores. And once I changed my pillowcase, all of this started to go away. Clean your makeup brushes. I know another thing you hear a lot, but clean your makeup brushes, especially your foundation ones and um, or any sponges you have. If you have a beauty blender, clean it. Or if you're like me and you use those little uh, triangular white ones, change them out regularly. It Because all that bacteria gets stored up in those brushes, in those bristles, in those fibers, and it holds all that bacteria and you get acne and cross-contamination. Also, if you get it here, I don't recommend this tip, but it might work for some people. Use toothpaste, like put it on there and use it as a spot treatment. I don't do that because I'm just too afraid. Forehead acne, my personal issue, drink water. I know I said it once, but keeping your skin hydrated will keep everything in balance. Change your shampoo. I When I found this, it actually made a lot of sense. When you're washing your hair, even if your head's back, shampoo's going to get on your forehead. And if you change shampoo and all of a sudden your forehead's breaking out, try going back to your old shampoo and see if it clears up. Also, reduce your stress. We talked about that. If you have acne on your nose, which these seem to pop up on, picture day or the first day of school, you get one right here. So my tip is reduce your salt intake. It will help. Um, the buildup of salt can like cause your nose to break out. So reduce your salt intake, you know, reduce your Chinese food, reduce that soy sauce, everything like that. I know I've been staying away from high sodium foods and, um, you know, Chinese and stuff like that. And I haven't broken down on my nose in a really long time. Exfoliate. Break that dead skin down so that those pores can breathe. And also use those nose strips, you know, like you pull it off. Those things will pull out all of that junk in your nose, especially on the sides. Your upper lip. I've been dealing with this for the last couple weeks, and I think I actually found my problem. Don't touch it. I know it's really easy to, like, touch it and be like, oh my god, like, it's right there. Like, get rid of it. Everyone's looking at it. Don't touch it. And don't do this. And, like, I don't want to mess with my lipstick. Like, pull your teeth across it. I've done that before. It hurts. First of all, it hurts so bad and it makes it so much more red, but just don't touch it by any means. Also, reduce your salt intake. I think this is my problem. Clean your chapstick. Think about it. Every day you're putting that on there. You're getting that oil. You're getting that bacteria on there. Even what I did is I scraped the top layer of my chapstick off and I started using it again and it hasn't come back. So disinfect your chapsticks. Um, also, if you get one like little one like this mix baking soda and a little bit of water and make like a paste and apply it there overnight and it should go away too now for my routine um this will be the last thing we talk about i start with these makeup cleansing wipes from neutrogena they're the night calming ones and trying to see no it doesn't say like there's tea tree oil or anything in them but, yeah, these work great, and they don't irritate my skin. Then I get in the shower so that the hot water opens up my pores. And some every other day, I use a spin brush to clean my skin. 
with this bio element deconstructive uh deconstructing decongestant cleanser and this pulls everything out of my pores when my acne was really severe i washed my face twice like in my routine i washed it with this and then i washed it with my birch burst blah, 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 blah. Burt's bees salicylic acid which is an all natural and that took all the stuff that this pulled out out of my face uh spot treatments put those on before your moisturizer i put my spot treatment on and then i put my brightening serum for under my eyes and then moisturize your face so i think that's all i have for you guys just really remember everyone's face is different if you have dry skin you have it uh, oily skin you know everyone's a little bit different so do what's right for you and if your acne is really really bad go to a dermatologist I know I don't know everything but hopefully you found something in here that can kind of help you out and I'll leave a list below of my recommended products for you guys for oily skin that's also kind of sensitive um yes that's all I have for you guys thanks for watching and I hope this helped I know acne sucks uh and it's embarrassing, but it's okay. Because everyone has it. Don't don't sweat at me. So yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!